Hey, so today I'm pretty bored. Figured I'd make a video showing you how to make Doom maps if you're interested. So if you are interested, go to doombuilder.com. Um, I'm at the downloads page, but yeah, just go to doombuilder.com and uh, download Doom Builder 2, install that, and uh, yeah, then you'll be ready to uh, make some Doom maps. So once you've installed Doom Builder, uh, just go ahead and open it up like I have here. And then on your first boot of uh, Doom Builder, you just gotta do some setup. Uh, make sure you have your Doom WAD files ready. So if you're gonna be making levels for Doom 1, you need the Doom 1 WAD. And then if you're gonna be making levels for Doom 2, you need the Doom 2 WAD. These are really easy to find on the internet. Just Google around um, and they contain all the data for the game. And as you can see, I've actually already done this uh, setup step. So uh, I kinda went through that fast. So you're gonna wanna go to Tools, Game Configurations, uh, and then for each game, you're just gonna wanna point um, the program to the WAD file that's relevant. So here I have the Doom 1 WAD, um, and that's where I've put it. And then I have the Doom 2 WAD, it's pretty self-explanatory. So now we're actually ready to get started making our maps. So just go ahead and make a new map, hit the new map button, and then I'm gonna do this one for Doom 2, uh, just cause there's more weapons and stuff in Doom 2. And then I'm going to do map one because it's the first map uh, of a custom wad that we're making. So you're greeted with this sort of just sparse black uh, checkerboard type of thing. And this is a top down view of all the sectors that uh, comprise the, the areas in your map. So to get started making our, um, our map, I'm going to go ahead and select the line defs mode. So if you see my cursor, I'm selecting the line defs mode uh, and we're just going to draw some line defs, they're called. And these are basically walls. So let's go ahead and make a um, 192 by 192 square uh, sector. And then I'm gonna enter the um, things mode uh, to place our spawn. And so I'm just our spawn right there. And so you can start to see how a world emerges. So I'm gonna make some steps here. And I'm gonna go to the vertices mode to get a little bit more um, control over what I'm doing. Is that what I want? I think so. about, there we go. And so you can kind of see I've made a T-shaped uh, sort of room here. Um, and then what I really want to get to show you is the uh, 3D editing. So if you go ahead and press the W on your um, keyboard and uh, look around, you should be brought to this 3D view. And so you can use the keys E, S, D, and F, sort of like WASD, um, to, to move around. And what I'm gonna do is use the uh, scroll wheel on my mouse and raise uh, the floor here. And um, you can click on the uh, red undefined textures and give them some texture. You can even use control C uh, if you go ahead and point at this texture, control C, and then click on the mouse wheel. You can copy and paste like so. I'm just gonna go ahead and give some personality to uh, this level here. A uh, handy tip is if you use shift, uh, mouse wheel click, that will do all of the textures in a region. Uh, so that can be really handy if you're trying to go quick. And so you can see we kind of have the basics of our map here and let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's hit the, uh, I don't have ZDoom on here so I can't, can't preview the map, but if you have ZDoom or GZDoom, um, 
you should be able to, to preview the map. Uh, next, uh, we'll do some more complicated things like doors and stuff. So I guess before we go to doors and uh, even more complicated things like lifts, et cetera, I mean, they're really not that complicated, but uh, before we go there, we should talk about sector lighting. So if we go to 3D mode and just take a look at uh, what I've got here, I mean, it's a pretty crappy map, but it's, uh, it's something and we got a few sectors going on. And um, importantly, I've put some decorative lights here and no lights here and lights here. And so we'd like to reflect that in the lighting of the map. So in order to do that, uh, we're gonna go to brightness mode and we can just grab our sector. So we have each of our sector, we kind of highlight when we go over it in this mode. Um, so in this sector, I have some lights. So I'm gonna click on it and drag. Actually, I guess that doesn't work. How does this work? I forget. Yeah, if you right click, if you right click and just drag up and down, you can change the brightness and you can kind of see it there. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it uh, 224 in there. And you can see it's kind of taken effect in the 3D mode. Uh, but to make it really noticeable, let's turn the brightness down in this room. And then in this room too. Let's go to 112. So we kind of spawn in this dark room and then we uh, we go out into the light and then we're back into the dark and light. And so that's how you do lighting. Uh, and you can do some really cool stuff. So if you get creative, you can make uh, sectors that that look um, uh, like more realistic lighting effects are possible. I mean, it, it seems pretty crude, but you can get creative. So in any case, uh, that's a bit for lighting. And so for our last um, little tutorial in this video, uh, again, this video is just really for um, the, the absolute basics of building Doom maps. And I kind of, in, I would hope if you, if you watch the video that you go on and, and you learn a bunch of stuff, uh, and this is really intended to just give you the basics. Anyway, I digress. So let's go ahead and make a lift. Um, if we go to 3D mode, you can see um, that I have, so let's get our bearings if we come into this room. Okay. Uh, looks like we kind of have some higher ground here that you couldn't get to normally. So let's make a lift. And then uh, making a lift is sort of similar to making a door. So I'm not gonna show a door in this video, but um, let's make a lift. So you can see I have this, this higher sector over here this lower sector right here, and I'm going, uh, my video software just bugged out, but let's get back to it. Uh, so I have this higher sector up here, lower sector right here. I'm gonna draw a lift using the line depths tool, and I'm really not making it pretty. It's kind of a crappy lift, but let's just go ahead and get it in there. Okay, let's give it a texture. Let's give it this texture. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Okay, and so we have our lift, and let's make this, let's say it's a switch operated lift, so we're gonna have a switch right here. Uh, let's give it a switch texture. And I'm gonna move the texture with the arrow keys to uh, adjust it manually. Okay. It's not the prettiest, but it works. All right, and so when we hit this switch, we want this lift to come down. So to do that, we're gonna uh, go to line defs mode, click that line def, um, right click it, and then give it an action. So we're gonna give it uh, an action of lift, uh, SR lift lower weight raise fast. So what this means is it's a switch for S, it's repeatable, you can do it more than once, it's a lift, it lowers, and then it waits for you, and then it goes back up and it does it fast. So that's what it does, and it's action one, two, three. And we'll give it a new tag, uh, sector tag one. And then just for this to work, we need to quickly make our lift sector, uh, sector tag one. And so now when we uh, go into the game, we should be able to use this switch. Uh, the lift will come down, and then we can uh, go up to this exciting, uh, Wonderland up here. Okay, and that that's so uh, that's that's it. That's uh, that's the basics of uh, making Doom maps. Um, if you uh, if you want me to cover anything in particular in the future, just let me know. Uh, cheerio.